Well, good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to the 7th of October. Yes, and I can get the right date sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, a bit of a different view this morning. This is over this pond slash reservoir slash lake uh, where we saw the geese flying yesterday. You can hear it ducks calling. Um, so, yeah, I just had a quick walk around anyway. Uh, I was talking to the boss the other day and saying, I'm waiting for the hedge lads to turn up. And he said, oh, had you got to turn up the other day? And he says, so I knew where I was going. I said, well, you haven't been because the hedges are all still uncut. So uh, I was a bit confused. I said, oh, it must have been someone else then. It must have been somebody going down to here, down to the pond as well. And then this morning I was just walking around. I've got a bonfire pile just over there. And uh, I realised what had been happening. <laughs> so, uh, right, so this is a view back towards the main house, back onto our land. This is actually somebody else's land I'm stood on, pathway. But they've actually been mowed off all this banking down here on our side. So they must have been here for a good few hours anyway. And uh, <laughs> nobody realised we're here. I was just going to show you this as well, so I've just walked up a little bit of banking from it. And this is a coppice that was planted about 20 years ago. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of ash in here. And it's also coming to ash die back. Uh, we don't tend to have a lot of ash around here. I mean, we've got one, where is it? There. Got a big one there, and there's a couple just here. But predominantly around here, we're on sycamores and oaks and horse chestnuts. Um, but yeah, it's sad to see that. It's probably going to wipe out half that wood. I'll well, just come and see the side of that wood. You can see the estates over there. This is the neighbouring field that we were harvesting in. We dominator. And I've just seen this rolling up. Ooh, I can actually do it. I do like them classes. So God knows what that is, but it's got a bailey on the back of it. Which means it must be harvest time. Oh, maize harvest anyway. So there's a, a maize field just over there. If you go back in videos, that's the one where the combine burnt down as well, that walked over. So, great harvester, I can't see it. Well, that was good timing. One past me anyway. Used to be trailer on back. Good old load on it. He's gonna have fun going down the lane with it though. <laughs> be a bit rocky and rolly. So another job to do before winter really sets in and before that comes over the top is just to get this banking tidied up. There's quite a few seed heads in here of weeds and stuff. They just wants mowing off. Uh, I generally used to cut all this anyway through the summer but decided well we don't use it anyway so I might as well have a bit of wildlife bit and the seeds and flowers and all sorts in there mostly weeds yes but it gives wildlife something rather than just a stale field or a sterile field 
as we've got over there. So um, I'll do all this side down here where all the rubbish is as well. So a bit to do. All right. T5. Uh, MDL power up flail mower on the back and the radio on. That's all I need. Well, that's that chunk done anyway. So mowed all that off up to the riverbank. I would normally go a bit closer to the riverbank, but it's getting to that time of year where we've got high water and the riverbank starts to crumble a little bit. So there's no point in putting 40 grams worth of tractor into the river. Let's take a two foot. So yeah, just mowed this off. But yeah, this is where all that rubbish was. There's a bit more there. Um, it's just chopping up quite finely now. So, just taking top off, leaving a couple of inches underneath. But that'll do it for winter then. All this can rot down nicely and feed the roots and the rest of the grass. And uh, yeah, make it tidy for next year. Because what you end up having, I don't know, we can see it, tufts of grass through winter which just start rotting off. You can see it dying back already. Then they come next spring, summer, when you come to harvest it, there's a lot of chunking bomb. I've just had a word with the boss, and there's about an hour or so for brew time. So he said, well, I'm down here, might as well do a bit more. So we'll set on mowing this out. There is a wet patch, a big wet patch down there. So I'll probably get from the hedge across, probably almost that willow tree. And then at least most of this done. Um, so I might have to leave a little bit, but... Yeah, right, carry on. Well, we're getting there. Yeah, I've pretty much cleared out this left hand side, just for a couple of strips left. And then we'll be on to that bit. Um, I better point out as well before anybody asks. Um, we would, well, I would like to get some sheep on, but we don't have sheep. Uh, the farmer's up in the village, but to have him come down every day to check in when he's got three or four of the foot kicking around, a bit of a pain in the bum for him and this floods quite a lot in winter so from now until spring the river could come up quite considerably within a few hours i've been really shown that before so uh, just the easiest way just to flay it off and have done as somebody did say last night i think it was malcolm that said last night uh, but i didn't think boss would ever do it but hey i'm surprised uh, right, I've just got a donkey that leg of that pass. It looks like a drunkard's been on it. So I shall carry on and get this done. Uh, and that's probably going to be it for today. I'm sure you're probably bored of me already. So I shall say thank you very much and I shall catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.